Welcome back to the What Not's Review Show number 83. My name is Kyle Springer, and I, 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 I am joined by Melissa Wilkinson. Yes. Melissa, how is it going? It's good. It's been a busy day, but I'm happy to be here to talk about a new episode of She-Hulk. It's been an interesting day for for sure. Uh, <laughs> the, the, yeah. we, we are here to talk about She-Hulk <laughs> episode four, four, recording this on the day we're also recording the captain's log, which happens to be the same day that the Queen of England passed away. <laughs> Lots of stuff is ha- happening. Yeah, I don't. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't know if podcasters in England or other parts of the Commonwealth are recording or if they're all sitting quietly in mourning but podcast day of silence who knows Uh, right we keep calm and we carry on (laughs) she hulk episode four let's dive in and talk about this one uh i i kind of want to start this one off uh so okay i I described this to some friends of mine today as like in in terms of why i'm liking this one so much so far Uh uh-huh um That this show doesn't feel like it's trying to be the next big MCU thing. Mm -hmm. I I can see that some of their other shows were maybe toned down a little bit more, but they still felt like they were trying to be or like, okay, this maybe could have just been a movie or we're trying to be the first show that introduces this concept. And we have to explain what they right, right. This just they're just having fun. They are. Like, that's literally all it is. They really don't care, care about the how it connects to all of this and that. They're just having fun. If it happens to connect, sweet. Mm. But it's just it's just good, dumb fun. I'm loving this. <laughs> this episode in particular was a real delight that we take this weird little side path. It's an episode that could set things up. Maybe that is on the docket, but mostly uh, we get to be in our, our new friend Madison and just talk about uh, very low key magic crimes and dating. Right? Yeah, ex- exactly. Uh, and spoiling the Sopranos for everyone who hasn't what? seen it yet. God. I was so happy that you have watched all of the Sopranos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just in time. I made it. I watched it last year. Um yeah, that would that was strange. Uh, but man, we got a character in here uh, very similar to a f- favorite Marvel ca- character of ours here at the whatnots. Uh, almost senior Magico. Yeah. We got uh, <laughs> Dottie Blaze instead. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think about uh, She-Hulk episode four and Donnie Blaze and Wong? Wong is b- back here. I I love that the Jin opens the show by looking at the audience and saying, "Oh, you guys look happy." It's because Wong is in this episode, right? Like, I love that they are continuing this joke of being aware that Wong is our favorite. Yep. Uh, and I like that this episode was just like this turn into a side street about issues you never thought you would have to deal with. That the Sorcerer Supreme has to sue. Uh, a, a low rent magician for using magic he doesn't have license to. And then there's a question of, well, he didn't sign an NDA at Comartage. Like, are there really <laughs> rules saying he can't do this thing? He has a sling ring. I don't know if he stole it. Uh, yeah. I think that's a fun avenue. And I, I, I <laughs> we get to meet Madison, who's just this like drunk party girl who gets wrapped up in one of these volunteers for a magic trick and then gets sent to another dimension that <laughs> makes a deal with a Mephisto type held goat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and she's such a, a satirical character, but she's also so sincere, so sweet. I really liked her. She's endearing immediately. And I, yeah. I really like that the show took that approach to say like, even if we are dealing with kind of obnoxious, jokey characters, we can find some moments for heart in there. You really like Madison. Madison likes the people around her. And even as, as much of a jerk as Donnie Blaze is, he's got that mentor at the Magic Castle who seems to really like him and really be rooting for him. Right. And I, I appreciate that that guy's there. I appreciate that they have that relationship. 
there's such a sincerity in in yeah. both of those characters, which makes them likable, mm-hmm. even if they are obnoxious or like eye rolling. Um, Madison in particular also likes Wong, which makes her like yes. us, and so it, it's just like <laughs> she's us. It's like I I understand you, Madison. <laughs> and what um, are they watching at the end of the show? This is us. <laughs> representing the bond we feel with the Ex- character exactly exactly uh more meta <laughs> but uh yeah i i had a blast with this one um i i liked that this also got into like the dating life of all of that stuff mm-hmm. something we really haven't seen much in the mcu yeah. except for uh black widow trying to set steve up with uh yeah what's her name i i, I, I forget uh, sharon the, well it, yeah but the, well, sharon was before else you know was she's like, sharon yeah yeah um but it, yeah like that's kind of the only like and then there is the like do you fondue date thing <laughs> happening in there I haven't seen much of like what it's like to d- d- date a superhero all of that stuff like mm-hmm. it's that's what, what i mean by wacky fun like this is not yeah. oh no yeah. the the gin d- dimension they're trying to take over the world what's happening it's like wait so jen as Jen gets no matches, but when she's she, she Hulk, she gets all the matches in, mm. in her thing. And that's kind of what the issue is about. Wong is now upset that he got the Sopranos sp- 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 spoiled yeah. for him. And that's what the episode is about. It's just like, mm. I, I'm, it's, I'm kind of We needed charmed. this. Yeah. We needed the stakes to be this small. We need the show to be this sincere but petty (laughs) we we need the break before we deal with wakanda forever in a couple months yeah um which i i like at the end of the day i'm still not getting the like i just want them to really really dig deep into the like lawyery stuff they could do more Um, yeah yeah i i i would love a good two-parter if they they have that coming Mm -hmm. up right um or or some twist to the case where something goes wrong in the midst of it and it's like ah we lost our witness and they need to do something to get more um who knows what and i think this is also starting at at least for me in my opinion starting to beg the question of like when when is daredevil gonna show up and you usually like most of the stuff that they show in the trailers, not only for the sh- shows, but for the movies is from the start of this stuff. It's from the first like mm-hmm. 20 minutes of the movie or the first uh, like yeah. uh, the, the first one or two of of, of a sh- 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 show. But in the trailer, we've gotten this big reveal that Daredevil is in the show. And here we are almost halfway in and we still haven't gotten him yet um who knows what the reason will be Mm -hmm. i don't know now i'm thinking maybe the stakes on that is gonna be a lot lower than this here uh who knows (laughs) i i have no idea but i'm I'm excited to find out maybe there is no larger foe they are facing maybe matt's just in town for a conference and he's like, well, maybe I'll introduce myself. I never have another superhero lawyer to talk to. I just want to say hi. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or, or the, they're like, how are the duck from the or like the George Lucas movie hired uh, d- d- oh. hit him to do this stuff? But let, d- then it's like, hey, that's copyright infringement from the one from G- 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 Guardians. Right. And they have to like. <laughs> do something with you can't, that <laughs> you can't introduce the, deuce this now a return of the george lucas howard the duck is all i want from any mcu property i want to see him again <laughs> don't do this to me you've the changed real, the game the now m- multiverse of quackness uh, is what it is <laughs> did i ever tell you that when we saw guardians of the galaxy for the first time in the movie theater and we wait for this po- that post credit scene there's some like normal suburban mom sitting in the aisle behind us. And she's like, they better not mess with my Howard, the duck. (laughs) (laughs) That's so funny for her. Please. I would love to see him again. (laughs) 
<laughs> great stuff. Great stuff. So, uh, what do you think is kind of happening in the background here? It, it, it still seems like maybe there is something going on. People are wanting She Hulk's DNA or blood or. I don't know. Do you have, do you have a, the, I, I know one of the theories out there is maybe one or two of her d- d- dates was actually yeah. after her, her and we just don't know it yet. Do you, do you have thoughts or I, d- d- ideas on that stuff? I, I rarely have original thoughts or ideas, but I hear those of others and I you say, yeah, it, I Melissa. think that's good. You can do it. <laughs> so when we meet that one guy on the date who keeps asking her questions about like, how are you invincible? What can penetrate your skin? Vibranium? Do you know vibranium can penetrate your skin? I thought that was just a joke about how if we live in this world full of supervillains, and this is also a world of bad dates, you are going to have at least one bad date for a guy who's like not a, a creep in the traditional way, but it's like, is that a mad scientist? Is that who you are? Right. Is that what right. your deal is? So I thought that was what the whole joke was, was that she went on a date with a budding mad scientist supervillain. And to hear these theories that, oh, that guy might actually be a larger foe. Maybe he's the one who sent out the wrecking crew. I really like that. Yeah, I think that maybe. makes sense. We were talking last week about people who would want She-Hulk's blood, want her DNA but also would be inept enough to hire the wrecking crew and wouldn't have access to anyone better. Yeah. Him. Perfect answer. (laughs) Yeah. Something like that is, is interesting because I like it, it makes for a good joke, but then it, Mm. it also, it like the reality of that is, yeah, you'll probably run into someone who, is an ex Hydra agent, right? <laughs> and they were like, "Yeah, it, they just had good benefits. I I mm. needed some dental work, and so I kept the job. I hated it, but right, mm. like it paid my bills. And like that, that's the <laughs> like that's the thing, right? And it's just like, do I do I go with the creep that used to work for Hydra for th- th- three months, and then I don't know. That's a little weird." uh yeah or it's like is this guy a mad scientist i can't tell i don't know do you remember that guy in iron man 3 when iron man storms like the compound where the mandarin is and he's like aiming his like arm blaster at a guy and the guy just drops his gun he's like i hate these guys i didn't even want to work here and he just runs away that guy i want she (laughs) right i want her to go on a date with him what's his story exactly um i would love to see more of that stuff I, I like that we are introducing more everyday aspects of mm. the like Marvel universe, right? The the like high technology of the Asgardians or some alien tech falling into to the everyday person's hit hands and them becoming the wrecking crew or uh yeah a d- 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 dating life or g- getting to see a superhero he- just walk down the street after they bought yeah. their groceries like we're starting to get more into that and i know down the road when we get stuff like the wonder man sh- show uh like what it like that is another aspect of like what is the entertainment that they watch nowadays like we've seen screenshots in spider man of like oh there's a documentary on tony stark or stuff like that but i like what meta layers can they put in the like Yes. In this that is that actually works for like, yes, that is what it would be like. I'm I'm loving this exploration and world b- b- building uh, that they do with that. Right do now, you, though, I go ahead. Do you remember in Mr. Robot where within the world of Mr. Robot, somebody is making a TV adaptation of the events that are happening? I want yeah. that. I want somebody making the not quite Avengers like ABC one hour drama. Amazing. There's a so in the in the ultimate Spider-Man comics, 
which is the series of comics in which we eventually got Miles Morales um, yeah. from when that first started. That was around the same time that the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies were coming out. Uh, and so there is a joke in there where like Spider-Man is new on the scene. He's been around for a year or two now. So they are making a Spider-Man movie in the comics and he sees the nose that uh, that the guy that's playing him is uh, God. I'm blanking on the name. I always hate this. But it right when I need the name, what was the name in the Sam Raimi, uh, the the actor that played him? Um, oh, Tobey Maguire. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that that he <laughs> that he was playing Peter <laughs> Parker, and the real Peter Parker in the comics is like Tobey Maguire as me. What? No, that would never work out. <laughs> it is awful. Um, so yeah, there, there, I would love to see some knockoff, something like that, where they bring back the old costumes from the Avengers, from like the Incredible Hulk, uh, oh, yeah. TV show, and the, the like there's Thor in his costume yes. and stuff like that. I want somebody in this world to make a show about Hulk or She Hulk where they have to do the thing where they have to cast two different people. So they cast a Jennifer Walters and then they cast some pro wrestler to be she Hulk. Yeah. I yeah. want to see all this playing out. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. And so mm-hmm. far I, I don't really have much that I'm complaining about because I, I I think the previous show set up the expectation that there was going to be a big reveal or they would introduce you to this concept or there would be mm. some big fight at the end. And there might still be some 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 fight that we see at, at the, the end here. And I'd be OK with that. But so far, they haven't set that expectation up, at least in a way that it's a number one priority. Right there. There mm. is this there seems to be someone who's out looking for her blood or her DNA for some reason. But we've only got this like small drip feed of of that. And it's mm. not been on like a main plot point of like, oh, who is this? Some shadowy figure. Oh, no. It's just in the back g- 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 around there. So I'm mm. I'm OK just sitting back and being like, yeah, this is a sitcom. Let me just have, it some, is. have yeah. some fun. I think it could very effectively pull off that long, slow burn of things happening in the background that you didn't put together. But if it doesn't, I think it's got so much going on that you would be okay. Like, oh, it is just a sitcom. All right, I accept. No hard feelings. That was good. I'm I'm a okay with it kind of being a case slash cameo of the week show Mm -hmm. just to do some bizarre legal case that gets wrapped up in 30 to 40 minutes. I'm a okay with that. Just make it the like law and order CSI style show, but just wackier. And I'm okay Mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. I I don't need some big. Here's the big bad of the whole thing. Yeah. And I think the new characters they've been introducing have been so charming that uh, we don't need that cameo high every week <laughs> we all loved madison yes, we didn't know yeah. who she was before this the show could keep doing that i'd be delighted if there was just a very pug heavy episode i don't need to meet anybody for the first time i don't need any shocking cameos or surprises just more pug time that's yeah. plenty yeah exactly exactly um do you have any other like now that i feel like we have a better sense of the show mm. has has your like hopes for what will be appearing in the show has that changed at all are you still looking for them mm. to do a certain thing not really i do really like the law aspect of it and i, I take more but i don't feel like what we have so far is insufficient like i said i like her grilling wong about did you make him sign an, an NDA or a non-compete? Like, what was the paperwork when you brought him on as a student? What does that look like? Yeah. Just knowing that that's on the show's mind is is enough. But yeah, I, I okay, could I fair. would love to dig in farther. Get us really into, I don't know if they're going to be touching on the snap very much in this series, but like, mm. 
Yeah, like it, it, I, I, I faked my death once uh, to, to get get out of Hydra, and now I want to come back to life again. Please, how do I do it? I'm flashing Stop. back to to when you and I watched the, the leftovers on the Whatnots yes. Review Show, one of our other yes. podcasts, and there was a a. a person in there who was cast as themselves in the show and it is a similar th- i like i would love to see something like that where like someone gets caught of like the snap happened and this g- g- guy used it as an opportunity to like go start a new life in another country and like gets f- found out some somehow and, right and you know who that was the guy in the leftovers who had let everyone believe he was dead. I don't Mark remember Lynn Baker. Is. Mark Lynn Baker, Jen's dad. He's right here. Oh, do yeah. it. There you go. Yeah, you can do that. Um, <laughs> that'd be really interesting. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I still want to see them at, at least establish the, the archives of the like okay we need all of these comics for us to dig into like what is the legal precedent for some of these cases um Mm -hmm. i i I still would like to see them get into that somehow um but so far i'm just i'm enjoying it i'm having a blast it's funny the only do still have to get to is that room of comic books that we walk past in the GLK and H That's offices. What I'm talking about. I'm excited about. Yes. for that thing. Yeah. Oh, what <laughs> I gotta shout out one of my favorite jokes in this episode. I forget. I think she's it's when she's on the date with the guy who like keeps looking at it, his phone and then he won't buy dinner. Uh when she says he asks her like what she does, and she's like, Oh, I just started a new job at GLK and H, this law firm downtown. I don't know if you've heard of it. And he's like, like Yeah, I know where yeah. downtown is. <laughs> yeah <laughs> just not listening not paying attention Abs- absolutely like the, the the thing is we've all had experiences like that is 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 the thing even if it's not a proper date there are times when you've been hanging out with someone or you're mm. talking to a parent or something and they're just not paying attention <laughs> and they say some dumb thing like that yeah. just like oh this is not working <laughs> um, but yeah this is this is good I, I i i do want to know if madison will be returning there she did end up making some deal yeah. for her. she she sold her soul to some demon i know new rock stars is back on the mephisto train mm. I, I i'm not convinced yet but uh it, 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 it is one of those things of like well yeah i mean like this could come back to be a very real thing who who knows um so yeah i i, I would like to see some of these returning characters somehow some way <laughs> well she's back in midnight suns <laughs> she's the only Absolutely. comedic I part mean, of midnight that's, suns that's the thing maybe if this is mephisto or some demonic presence right maybe he needed some kind of human to make a deal with to have a human avatar on on mm. earth there and so she can uh you know now can summon satan inside her whenever she wants who knows i don't know maybe it's activated by gin and tonic and yak (laughs) milk stuff like that right (laughs) oh well uh i think that's about it for our reactions to episode four of she hulk of course we will be back uh next week for episode five but melissa where can the people find you on the internet you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Wilkywit. That's W I L K Y W I T. And listen to my other podcast, Saturday Morning Obscurities. There you go. Uh, and you guys can find me at Yo Kyle Springer on Twitter. And if you guys would like to stay up to date uh, with all of the stuff that we do here at the Whatnots, uh, which we got plenty more stuff coming up down the road, uh, we are at the Whatnots on Twitter. So please go like, share, and subscribe. That would help us out a ton. I know the all the new like Disney Plus, Star Wars, Andor stuff soon. So we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye.